Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to It's All Me. I wanted to take this opportunity to give you guys an update on what's been going on in my life lately. The month of October has been absolutely crazy. And if you're hearing a little bit of echo in the audio, well, there's a clear reason why. Well, it's because the apartment we've lived in, the entirety of our marriage, the entirety of It's All Me, is now vacant. We are officially moved out of this apartment. And as you can see, everything is empty. Everything is cleaned out. Everything is ready for the new future tenants. As you can see, this is the apartment that you guys have seen many times. The condo you've seen many times. Here is the office that I have filmed many a videos in. I mean, everything from it's only fashion to burping contest, burping contest Q and A. I mean, countless things have been done in here. This is where I sat at my computer and did all my editing for all of my videos. You can even still see the imprint of my desk on the floor. This is literally where the magic has happened for the past almost three years now of It's All Me and four years that I've lived here with my wife. So much has taken place here. So much has taken place in this spot. So much has taken place inside this apartment, inside this room specifically. It's just crazy to be able to walk through here empty and have this echoing. I mean, literally everything is gone. Everything is gone, everything is vacant. It's, it's just crazy to reflect back on everything that has happened in our lives these last four years as we celebrate our four year anniversary on November 19th. So next month, uh, it'll be four years of being married, which is amazing. It's gone by so quick and there's been so many things that have happened. Um, but yeah, October of 2021 has been a crazy, crazy, crazy month for us. Not only have we been moving, but I also lost my Grammy unexpectedly. We had to pivot pretty hard because of that. And so we had to, uh, you know, take the time to just work through those emotions, work through those feelings, work through that loss, you know, be there to support my mom. It, it, Grammy was my, my mom's mom. Yeah, Seth and Manley drove all the way from New York and just a really quick swoop, was able to actually spend the very first night in our new apartment with uh, Tiny and myself. So that was pretty special to have Seth and Manley there for that moment. Besides that, we also had some, some pretty crazy car issues that we ran into and just a lot of things that were just bogging us down mentally and emotionally and physically. And so now that we're officially moved to our new spot, I wanna take you there and give you a few more updates and then send you guys on your way. I don't wanna keep you long today, but I just wanted to give you an idea of like, why October has been quiet. I know I've done some, some YouTube shorts and some uploads on my TikTok, which if you don't follow me on TikTok, make sure you do. I just wanted to give you guys an, an overview of why October has been quiet on my channel. And this is why. There's just been so many things going on and, and as anyone who's moved before knows, the packing up your entire life and moving takes so much more time than you ever truly give credit for. But let's go ahead and move on to the new apartment. We'll show you that new location where we're now living. And I have a few other things I wanna to show to you guys. So let's get right to that. And here we are. We are now in our current apartment, which you might look at this and say, doesn't look a whole lot different from where you just came from. Well, it's because it's identical, basically. Different paint on the wall. Um, it's more yellow than brown. Something I've never really showcased on my channel much is my action figure collection. I got a whole bunch of stuff. My, my main interests are late 90s WCW action figures. Obviously I got some Ninja Turtles and I like uh, McDonald's Happy Meal toys. Um, some AEW figs. I got a nice little NWO set up right here. And some more other, th I got obviously The Office. I love The Office, it's my favorite show of all time. Got some other things here still in package. I love leaving things mint on card. Got some really awesome autographs from some uh, wrestlers I love. Other things here. But there you go, this is this is the new area that I'm now editing. I'm working on a retro gaming setup. I just got this old school tube TV from 2006 and uh, this N64 box that my brother actually made in shop class back in high school. So that would have been done in like 2003, I think it was. So I got the old GameCube set up on that and I have a Nintendo 64 to hook up to it as well. But yeah, this is this is now my office. 
and looks pretty much the way you guys would know it and remember it. And we'll show you a few of the highlights around the new place. We're currently still getting situated here, so there's still a little bit of disarray, but we actually have carpet now. We had hardwood floors. We now have tile throughout the main gist of it. And then in the, the living room, we now have carpet. We have a ceiling fan in our living room now, which is awesome. We don't have the studio lighting over here on this wall like we did. So things are gonna look a little bit different over here. We also had Tiny was working at our kitchen table for the entirety of this whole pandemic stuff. And so we just recently got her this, this desk for her to be able to have her own workspace. There's Tana and kitchen, obviously. So yeah, that's, that's, this is the main difference. The carpet here in the living room, which we love. That basically wraps up the tour of the new place. A few other things I wanted to touch on before I call it a day is if you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, then you aren't, aren't aware that I have new stickers available, new It's All These stickers. So I had sold these logo stickers earlier this year, and I still have a handful of them left, and I am now selling these fan art stickers. These were done by Bromf Visuals, as you can see there. That was fan art that he drew from one of my most recent burping Q&A cover art. Got permission to work with them and have these turned into stickers. And so these are currently available right now. These are only for US shipping. I don't really have the means to ship internationally, but if you're interested in a sticker or more than one, uh, these are being sold right now for $3 a piece. Or if you'd like the very limited run of the logo stickers are still available, you can get this with a new sticker together in a bundle for five. So the new sticker by itself is three. You can add the logo sticker in there for an extra two and get two It's On These stickers for $5. You get a personalized note from me as well. But again, just to clarify and reiterate, this is only US shipping currently. I just don't have the means to go beyond our borders. So if you're in the United States and you're interested in some It's On The merchandise, got some fresh stickers here for you. Make sure you let me know in the comments below and we can touch base and get, uh, get all those things worked out. But yeah, so thanks for hanging with me guys through all these, these crazy times with, with October just being absolutely nuts. Always think about new content coming up here as we head into the holiday season. I am working on putting together a burping contest with a few people. So it'd be myself versus two other people. So I'm working on putting those details into place right now to hopefully bring that to you sometime this holiday season. Really excited about that. I think you guys will really enjoy that. Obviously you love the burping contest stuff. So I wanna make sure that I continue to bring that content to you guys. But also just always racking my brain for other things. I do have an idea for a kind of a, which is funny to say, but a classic style It's All New video, more of a vibey based video, more of a musically driven video, uh, just showing some exploration and things like that. Again, just kind of going back to what started this channel off. So I thank you guys for just all of your support, for supporting the shorts here on YouTube. And for those of you who follow me on TikTok, I appreciate that as well. But again, if you don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, things are linked down below in the description to so make sure you head on over there and give me a follow. And in the meantime, just look forward to new content coming. And thanks again for everything you guys are doing and, and supporting me. And remember, it's all me and no foot. And we will see you in the next one.